all right what's up everyone so I'm doing an update video on my 2016 holdbacks so all the snakes you're gonna see here I produce myself so I'm inside my reptile room and not the best lighting so I do have the flash on from my phone okay so um, this little male here is a fire lesser 100% head for hypo male and he's very nice I like this guy and my first uh, when he hatched I, I originally thought he was hypo until he shed that's how light he was so yeah very nice I can't wait to plug this mail into uh, some of my hypo projects I have going you know so which I have a few hypo projects going on hypo is probably my favorite recessive actually it is my favorite recessive yeah this boy's smoking though again Fire lesser, 100% head for hypo male. All right, and this one here is Mr. Evil. This guy loves to strike. He loves to give kisses. Okay, so this one here is a pewter male, 100% head for hypo. And you can tell the hypo influence on the first one I showed and on him too. I mean, he's very nice, very light. Um, nothing compared to my other pewters that I've hatched. And I have a few females lined up for him also. Like I said, Hypo is my favorite uh, recessive. And, you know, I have a couple of females lined up. So again, pewter, 100% head for Hypo. Very nice. I really like this guy. On to the next. Okay, and this one here is a leopard male, 100% head for hypo. I love the leopard gene and the combos. I mean, I love what the leopard does. And unfortunately, I did not hit not one leopard combo this season. So I do have plans, you know. To go heavy again with the leopard this season, hopefully, you know we'll see what happens. But I love his black back though. Look at that. Look at that. He's very dark too. Again, I'm using my flash from my phone because I'm in my I'm in my reptile room and I have the crappiest light in here. I don't have the highest uh, wattage in here. Or... So again, leopard male, 100% head for hypo. Definitely big plants with this guy here. Right. So I bred the leopard male to the hypo female. And um did really well with those. So I'll show you. I'll show you some more. Alright, and this one here is the sibling to the other leopard. And this one is a leopard female. 100% head for hypo. Um, if you guys notice my ads, I do have her posted, but I'm really hoping she doesn't sell. I mean, if she doesn't, I won't be, I won't have a problem with that at all. Believe me, I would not mind keeping her. So, yeah, and she has an awesome head stamp. Again, guys, th this lighting sucks, but yes. Nice funky pattern on this one. So leopard female, 100% head for hypo. Smoking, smoking. Let me show you guys the belly on this. Smoking female, so there we go. Moving on. Now this one here. Oh, he looks crappy on the 
on my screen. But this one here is a possible holdback. This is a male Firefly one, um, head hypo. All the head hypos I'm showing you, they're all 100% head for hypo. But this one here, same thing with him. If he doesn't sell, I won't have a problem keeping him. Because he's very, very bright. I mean, he is. This, I'm looking at the screen and it's not doing him any justice at all. Um, Very, very bright this guy is. So, again, if he doesn't sell, I, I definitely, you know, I have a few females lined up also that, you know, I could throw him to. So... Very nice. Alright. But he is up he is available though, but same thing though. He's nice. Alright, let's move on. Alright, and this chunky girl you see here. This one's one of my favorites. I tell you all the lepers that I've hatched this year, and most of them are females, they all slam food. I mean, these girls don't play. I only hatched out one leopard male, and that's the head hypo. And all the rest are all females. And I tell you that they all slam full. And this uh, nice black back leopard female is 100% head for albino. I put the leopard male to the, obviously, the albino female and produce this little gem. Two, was it two eggs? Two eggs out of that one? No, it was three eggs. One went bad during incubation. And I hatched out two leopard uh, females. Both one, uh, had albino. She's very nice. And as you can see, most of the leopards that I've hatched this year, most of them have that black bag going on. Which with this one, it'll come in. I, I think it'll look really nice with, uh, you know, bringing her to a... Uh, Candino male, you know, whatever else I have going by the time she's ready. But very nice looking, um, leopard female. Het albino. Alright, let's move on to her sibling. Okay. So this funky looking one we see here is the sibling to the other leopard head albino female. So she was the other one so she's a leopard 100% head albino female and this one is smoking this is by far by far my favorite uh, leopard female or leopard she has such a funky pattern it is insane very very white on the bottom like not the same like my other leopards. All my other leopards are kind of like have like a yellow tint on their bellies. Not her. She has a white. She still has the belly. Uh, the sorry, the pattern of a leopard on her belly, but is not yellow ish. She's white, so definitely. This is definitely a whole bag. As you can see, she's very chunky. She was very, she hatched out very small. She hatched out at what, 36 grams. 36 grams. Uh, her sibling was almost double in size. 36 grams, but she's been eating since day one on her own. And she, uh, the same thing with my leopards. They all love to eat. No hesitation, nothing. They love to eat. You know? And I'm trying something new this year with my reptile room. I'm not using any heat um, cables or heat um, flex what heat tape or whatever you know you want to call. I'm just using uh, room temperature, ambient temperature with uh, my reptile room this year, around 85-ish degrees. And I can tell you when I'm in here, I'm in sweating right now in here. <laughs> but my snakes love it so. They all eat, uh, no problems eating or, let me keep it here, no problems eating or, or uh, you know, eliminating, nothing. It's actually going, working out really well. You know? Yeah, 
this, I love this girl. All right, move on to the next. Okay, this little gem here is my soul sucker female. And Jane Wilma Lesser. And she gave me a hard time. I had to um, force feed this girl uh, twice. I gave her some good, you know, I gave them about six weeks to take their first meal. Usually it's, I don't have a problem with that. i be honest, I rarely ever force feed any snakes. But this girl, I let her go, let me see. Uh, no, I let her go four weeks, sorry. Four weeks, and I said, okay, it's time to, so I forced for her one meal, then uh, two weeks later, um, I forced for her another one, and now she's taking on her own, which I'm very happy about. So she just needed a little head start, no problem. But um, she's doing really well, nice solid stripe in the back, look at that, nice solid stripe. So... I actually hatched out three uh, soul suckers. Um, all three hatched, but one died um, right before coming out of the egg. So that was very unfortunate. I was super excited. I'm still am, but yep. So let me pull her back. Moving on. Okay, in here. He's in deep shed right now. This is the soul sucker male. Uh, very nice. Again, he's in deep shed. See that? Milky, milky eyes. But very, very nice. As you, you can see the that size difference with him. He had no problems eating from day one. Um, actually, the soul sucker female, if I remember correctly, is the only one I had any issues with. But very nice. Very, very nice. Um, plants with this guy here too um i was hoping i would have had some i would have had some hinging warmers hypos but that didn't happen but hopefully this meal right here will make that happen soon so very nice meal so those are my whole bags um very happy um i wish i had some leopard uh combos because I did pair the leopard up with the lesser female. I paired them up with the bumblebee female. And I think that was it. And I didn't get lucky with those. But I'll probably try for that this year though. We'll see how it goes. Um, still have uh, hatchlings for sale if anyone's interested. You know, Obviously none of these on this video though. But. Very nice, very nice male. Look at that. Too bad he's in deep shed. Maybe I'll do an update once he sheds. All right, all right, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. You know, and I hope uh, that everyone today is what uh, the October thirtieth. So I hope everyone enjoys their Halloween tomorrow. Alright. Alright. Thanks for watching everyone.